morning welcome back to the channel guys so uh, this morning we've come to a, a house in Blickling in Norfolk we've come to Blickling Hall um, this was the home of Lord Lothian and it's widely believed to be the site where Anne Boleyn was born the uh, future wife of Henry VIII so stick with us guys and enjoy this one Blickling Hall is a Jacobean stately home. It stands in 5,000 acres of parkland. It is hugged by the River Burr and stands near the village of Blickling in Norfolk, England. The house was built in 1616 by Sir John Herbert. The house passed in 1698 to Sir John Hobart, who was created Earl of Buckinghamshire. He was responsible for building the Ha Ha and the Doric Temple we still see today. Blickling Hall and its estate eventually passed to the 8th Marquess of Lothian, in 1785. The house and estate remained in their care right up until passing to the National Trust in 1940. Mentioned in the Doomsday Book Blickling is believed to have been the birthplace of Anne Boleyn, future wife of King Henry VIII. A fine portrait of Henry hangs in the entrance hall at Blickling, along with a life-size wooden carving of both Anne Boleyn and Queen Elizabeth I. Anne Boleyn's father, Sir Geoffrey Boleyn, bought the Blickling estate from Sir John Fastolf in 1452. The present house was built on the same site as Geoffrey Boleyn's house. The Tudor moat still remains to this day, though now drained and planted to great effect.
It was in the 1740s that Blickling's Long Gallery was converted in part into a library. The library at Blickling contains one of the most historically significant collections of books and manuscripts to be found anywhere in England. It has no less than 14,000 volumes. Blickling, it is said, is haunted by the ghost of Anne Boleyn. She is said to appear in a macabre fashion, carrying her decapitated head. We are pleased to report we did not see her on our visit. The gardens at Blickling must have a good all year round interest, as we saw azaleas, rhododendrons and huge herbaceous borders. There is a wonderful parterre and a magnificent wide set of steps. They lead your eyes up to the Doric Temple. Walking to the temple is a real must, as sitting there you get the most amazing views back down to the house. Well guys, we've just been inside Blickling Hall and it was very magnificent. It was, I love the staircase the best. I yeah, think. the staircase is stunning. Lots of wood carvings of uh, Queen Elizabeth and Anne Boleyn. Were they life size? Yeah, they were. Yeah, I think the lady said that. Uh, yeah, we really enjoyed it. I think the Long Gallery is possibly my favourite. So uh, we're going to stride on and take a look at the gardens, guys. So stick with us.
gardens at Blickley are absolutely beautiful obviously it's a beautiful day which makes all the difference but uh, yeah beautifully laid out So guys, we've been around at the gardens here at Blicklin. It's absolutely lovely, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. We've really enjoyed it. And obviously the weather makes such a difference when you visit somewhere like this. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous and it's red hot today again. It must have been an absolutely beautiful place for Anne Boleyn to grow up in. I mean, this part of Norfolk is just just beautiful. I mean, as we've wandered around, we've, we've said it before and we'll say it again, we could live here. Uh, so we'd like to thank you very much for watching guys uh, we hope the video finds you all well uh, if you a cheeky line. yes please do and any comments drop them down below we always uh, we always try to answer them all and uh, yeah once again thank you so much for watching uh, we'll see you next time take, take care bye bye